in the face of everything that this year has to throw at us, we want to stand steadfast, trusting God all along the way. What Paul is telling us here in this text is that there's going to be times of difficulty, but don't give in, don't give up, and don't quit. We can't afford to quit or give up on life and its circumstances and the vicissitudes that this life throws at us. All of us have been challenged in 2020. The least, the last, the lost, the best, all of us have had some difficulties this year. But His grace and mercy has seen us through. Thank God for His keeping us in spite of what others try to do to us. In spite of a pandemic. In spite of a president. In spite of the enemy. The Lord has held us together. Here in this passage of scripture, there are three or four things I'm going to drop and I'm going to let us go. First of all, in that 19th verse, it urges us to be bold and call on the name of Jesus. When it talks about entering into the Holy of Holies, it's talking about where the veil and the temple was split. Yeah. And it was split because Jesus' flesh was torn. Yeah. When they pierced him in the side, it tore his flesh and it shed his blood. And because his blood was shed, we now have access to God not like we've ever had before. Yeah. We can call on God, not once a year, but we can call on God every day. Yeah. We can call Him by name. Yeah. We can call Him Jesus. Yeah. And He's going to be there to answer our every call. He is worthy yeah. to be called on. Yeah. When crisis arise, call on. Yeah. When trouble ever but this text also suggests that we ought to worship Him in spirit, yeah. in truth, yeah. in knowledge, yeah. and in holiness. Yeah. We've got to worship Him, huh. not just with emotion, but with our mind. And we've got to put our mind into our worship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got, you got to put some knowledge, you've got to put some wisdom, you've got to put some thought yeah. into worshiping God. Yeah. Into worshiping God. This ain't no play thing. Yeah, yeah. Marvin did Captain Rail come to mind right about now. <laughs> ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. <laughs> and when God wants from us is a real thing, He wants real, authentic worship. He wants us to praise Him. Not just for the big thing, but for the little thing. Can't praise God and, and, and be dirty. Uh -huh. 
I raised this question with a colleague of mine not too long ago as to how some of our saintly saints can smoke reefer, snort cocaine, and act like they get the prayer through. And the question is, what's the purpose of living right? If they can get a prayer through and know that are living right, I wonder if God is hearing their prayers. And my colleague responded to me and told me, said, you know, they have a form of godliness. But they're not really godly. They got a form of it. But it really not, it's really not real. It seems real to them. Because they're just putting on. Because everybody is shouting. And you shout because God didn't touch them. Ain't nothing to be the judge. Because the Lord said that the wheat and tear grow together. And he'll do the separating doing the judgment. And that was good enough for me. I said, man, I can hold up my Bible now. Because that question was paramount on my mind. And once he shared that with me, I said, oh, now, now I understand. I said, because it is important that those that really believe and are saved set themselves aside and trust God enough to know that God, no matter what happens, Faithful yeah. if nobody else is faithful. I can depend on nobody else's faithfulness. All the faithfulness I can depend on is mine. And so, God, I want to be faithful and trust you through all that happens to me. And then the verse continues to go on. I was just drawn in because it says, Draw me up. Oh, yeah. Draw me up because. Of the access we have through to God through Christ Jesus. Therefore, we have we have we don't have a guilty conscience about our behavior anymore. In other words, we've been clean because we set ourselves apart. Yeah. And it's important that we clean up what we messed up yeah. and get our lives back on track again. And everybody has messed up somewhere. Yeah. Because the Bible says all oh, have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There are none that are righteous and perfect. No, not one. So God understands the challenges of our flesh. He understands what our That he gives us forgiveness, but we got to ask for it. It ain't on a man. Got to ask for it. And therefore, when we draw near, we see our own ugliness in his presence. And because we have the blood covering of Jesus, he washes us just as pure as stone. Then, verse 23 goes on to say that hold fast. Yeah, hold fast to the light that Jesus has shown us. And he will be, yeah, the answer to all of our challenges in the future. Amen. Jesus is the answer. He was, he is, and he shall be. Amen. The answer to all of our struggles, yeah. he is our healer. Yes, he, is. he was our healer, yes. and he shall be our healer. Yes. He has been our redeemer, yes. he is our redeemer, yes. 
and it shall be our redeemer. He has been our strength, he is our strength, and it shall be our strength. He has been my joy, he is my joy, and it shall be my joy. We have to understand that whatever we need, Jesus is it. He is the bomb in Gilead. He is our healer. He is the center of our joy. He is the hope of our tomorrow. He is our present day help. He is everything that we need and we need it right now. We got to hold on. In this year, until next year, and when next year gets here, we're going to persevere in spite of our solution. In spite of everything that's not thrown us, we're going to hold
candidate for baptism, restoration of membership. That's someone here on this last day of the year that's going to step out on your faith. Try and trust them. Know that the Lord has brought us this far by faith. I know somehow, and I know somewhere we're gonna.
God, we are claiming healing and victory this year. We have many that are in hospitals right now. Oh God, we can't see them. But God, we're praying that they can see us. Let them know that we're trusting you to be their healer. And then, God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to bind us together in time that cannot be broken. But God, our hearts have pain because so many have been lost. But we know there's nothing new to you. Well, you know everything and you know everybody. So God, thank you for an awesome year. Now, Lord, as we move forward into a new year, go with us and by us. Keep us safe, bless us. Give us joy in the middle of this struggle. Let nothing hinder our praise for you. God, continue to praise our holy hands. Even when we can't speak anymore, God, we can raise up our hands and take a thank you. So God, bless this your church and every church that's open in your name. Not the funny churches, but your name. Then God, let your anointing come down. Fill in your sanctuary with authentic praise. God, we be careful to bless your name all the days of our lives. Now, God, even since I had looks low, give us traffic and grace and mercy to get home safe and to bless your name all this day and coming this ensuing year. God, we bless your name even right now. You loved us in spite of all that you've done and thought about doing. And so God, thank you. Now Lord, let your head to protection around about us. And now we commune with the Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide all the days of our lives. In the matchless name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus. We pray this prayer in his name for the sake of the people. Amen. 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 Amen.